Look, boy, I'm a legend, but bow on my presence. Don't touch me, I'm ready. My drip like Hokage. See, you and I, we both had nothing to come, and I move like a cashy. I do shit to bro. Let's go, let's go. Just you know, be from the unknown. Said I gotta show that I'm with it. I got cut so not tell fast. I kill him. We all cut thoughts. Had to put the work in, show him what the work is. Came up from the bottom, now I'm up though. Hey, still got better trenches now. I'm on my lit shit. Give me serious one punch. Hold on. Okay, so today we've got another video. Now, as you guys can probably tell from what you were seeing on your screen, today I'm going to be playing a new game on the channel, which is called Clover Rebirth. Now, you guys seem to really enjoy the last video that I made on a Black Clover game. And so because of that, I thought I'd come back to y'all with another one. Now, the difference is this game is actually still in development. I was lucky enough, though, to actually come in contact with the owner of the game. And so he asked me to try the game and I thought, why not? Now, if after watching this video, you guys actually actually decide that you want to play it for yourself you can actually play the game with an early access game pass the game pass does cost 99 robux and so yeah if after watching this video you guys decide you want to play it then yeah there is an option if you want to wait until the actual full release of the game though then i have been told the game will be releasing within a few months now something to actually take note is normally when i do videos like these i will actually play the game for like 30 minutes to an hour and then hit record but i decided i'm going to kind of do this how i did project mugetsu to where I basically just go into the game blind. See, I haven't actually played this game before, and so this is gonna be a completely blind reaction. See, I'm really hoping this is fun. I'm really hoping you guys enjoy it. And so with all that being said, I guess let's just head in. Let's hit play. All right, so we are officially in game. Now there was actually a tutorial for this game, but I did actually skip it. And I just want you guys to remember this game is still in development. So this is actually my character. I am super freaking like white. It's actually kind of insane. And for some reason I'm bald. I don't know why I don't have hair, but yeah. We've got a quest at the bottom left that says get your grimoire. So that we're definitely gonna have to do. In terms of the UI, it actually looks pretty good with like the health and the mana and stuff. Now something I like to do whenever I play new games is just click like every button on my keyboard to see what happens oh okay well m is the settings button so that's nice we got pretty much the basic settings here so that's good n does this like weird stomp i don't know what that does probably for like gripping players f is your block key g oh oh what the oh, oh okay we just get a broom off rip all right i didn't know that this is definitely different compared to the other black clover game i played because in the other one you actually needed to like do a quest to get a broom in this one you just literally can whip it out q is your dash button that's pretty cool um i'm just clicking more keys all right you brings whatever this is up i don't know what this does but that's there and if you click h you actually get a crafting menu so that's pretty cool now i know this alpha sword right here is supposedly pretty strong and this you actually get if you buy the uh, alpha um or alpha the freaking early access game pass you got a compass we've got different pickaxes a shovel fishing rod all right all pretty cool stuff right, so that's basically everything that i can actually do from the keyboard option i don't know what the combat is like i mean there's some basic five hit combat combos that's pretty nice but i guess right now we'll just go and do the first quest since it is just labeled there what the hell is this oh a stick i just pick it up oh okay i guess i got a stick now oh something i should mention there are actually codes that you can put in as of right now so let me see if i can actually put one of those in myself you just do it in the um chat i'm pretty sure if we do exclamation port mobile i think that's supposed to be a code i'm not too sure but i know for um actually like spinning your stuff you do need to go to the library for that so i'll definitely see if i can do some spins in this this video yeah right now i'm just going to my neck or to my first quest now obviously i should be using my broom for this but i'm kind of just um running around and walking to just explore the map you know get a bit of the scenery i will say the game doesn't look too bad we got isabella here what she had to say welcome adventure are you looking for some fresh raw meat I, I do not need food right now unless there's a hunger bar and i just don't know it all right so this is where we're supposed to be it is a giant freaking tower and that says village so i assume that's the village let's just go in i guess okay so i ended up getting tp'd to the grim our tower also funny thing is for like literally a second i had my hair and it kind of just disappeared also this music is pretty damn loud right, who am i supposed to talk to there's gallus what does gallus have to say greetings adventurer you have come to the right place this workshop specializes in the art of broom customization bro i do not have 500 gold who do they think i i just got here man do you wish to change your face um actually yeah i'm kind of ugly does that cost money like how do you oh okay it costs robux that's great so what is this, is this how i get my grimoire grimoire bag that's a game pass 
class, codes. Oh, so this is where you enter codes. All right, hold on. So I'm pretty sure this is a code you can do. Yeah, there we go. 25 spins just like that. And my current magic is NA. Oh, oh, okay. So we've already got the spins here. All right. All right, so in terms of spinning for grimoires, the commons are pretty much all the basic elements. Uncommon, we've got plant, lightning, blue flame, chain. Rare is light, dark, poison. And then legendary is paint, blood, gravity, and anti-magic. And then you can also spin for your family. Oh, I see there's a legendary family, Faust. Oh, damn, 1.65 damage. Okay, these are actually pretty good. Now, I don't know who the Faust family is, because if you guys watched my last Demon Slayer video, you or Demon Slayer <laughs> Black Clover video, you'd know I have not actually watched the anime yet, but hopefully we can get this one. I don't know the rates since it doesn't say it here. But yeah, I guess I'll just spin for a bit and see what I can get. And so I'll show you guys like the first set. Oh, these are actually the spinning prices. Damn, okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is low key, like kind of expensive dog. All right, we got a common family. I'll spin my grimoire now. Yeah, I'll just spin for a bit. I'll show you guys the like first few spins I do, but then afterwards I'll probably just skip until I get something good. All right, we got freeze. We got plant. Plant is an uncommon, so that's cool. All right, I really hope that the actual colors of like the uh, things change depending on what I get. Cause as you guys can see, the font is kind of like just green and yellow all the time. So I hope if you get a legendary, it's actually like red. Cause honestly, I'd never be able to tell. But yeah, I guess this is basically the spinning. I mean, it's not bad, but could definitely use some work with like the whole font thing. If you know, like I said, it doesn't actually change to like red. And so oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, I was definitely wrong. It does in fact change. So we got poison, which is a rare. I'll just keep it for now, since I, like I said, I don't know the rate. So for all I know, this could be very hard to get. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. I'm I'm go big or go home. I'm gonna just do everything until I get a legendary. I don't care, bro. But yeah, I'll just spin for a bit and I'll come back to y'all when I actually get something cool or I run out of spins. Eh, I'm not even gonna lie. I literally spun like two more times and I already got paint. So yeah, we'll definitely be keeping that. And now I just need to spin for a family and hopefully get a good family. So wish me luck. All right, guys, as you guys can see, I am down to eight spins. I've literally only been spinning my family and I've been getting insanely shafted. I'm going to assume the rates for family is maybe lower than grimoires. Like I said, I don't have any way of knowing that because they don't show you the rates, but I've decided I'm just going to go and keep this uncommon family voice mortier, mainly because it gives you a speed buff, as you guys can see. So you get 1.5 speed and so yeah i ended up getting that and i'm just gonna settle with it man i can't be asked also out of nowhere i literally got a mustache and hair i'm not even joking so <laughs> what the hell yeah we finally got our grimoire i ended up getting paint and so i guess we'll just head out of here all right so we are now out of the grimoire tower and you actually can't make this up now i have a beard and an afro what the <laughs> <laughs> guys i literally have no idea why my hair keeps changing i was bald then i had a freaking short buzz cut and now i have an afro i it doesn't really matter to me but it's just really weird definitely gonna have to talk to the owner about that on the right side we do have our grimoire i don't actually know how you take it out though is it eat oh okay equip your grimoire then press r to be able to use skill whoa okay this is actually pretty dope so this is the paint grimoire it comes out literally by just clicking e it just floats out which i definitely think is pretty cool if i click r it says i'm supposed to click r to use my my skills yeah i'm clicking r and i'm not doing anything i guess it's because i don't have any skills yet but still would have been cool if they just showed me the actual skills we've got riven more here what does he have to say literally nothing okay i might not be high enough level cap for that we've got the boy repo who also won't talk to me so that's great all right i guess we'll just go and see if i can do my next quest i'm really excited to see what the pvp looks like so far i haven't really had too many problems um in terms of like the game itself i think the game looks pretty fine we've got the boy galaris here here. so let's talk to him you want to continue with your journey quest yes sir i do oh, oh oh okay they literally like display all the quests you have to do damn how many quests are there okay so there are 64 quests in the whole game and the last one is literally to craft a compass all right so go to the library and talk to the owner all right i guess we do i literally have to go back to the library oh no it's over here all right i was about to say like if i have to go that's the tower though so but i was about to say if i gotta go back to that tower that'd be crazy but yeah now i gotta go over here so you know i'm still just exploring like i said i could whip out the broom and just start whipping it but yeah i like uh walking around in the beginning so i can just see what everything's like all right so this is the library we can just walk in okay i will say the music is pretty loud and so because of that i'm gonna be turning it off but it's not bad as right, so this is the library we've got some books here they all happen to just be like freaking orange and pink though which is kind of funny but whatever all right we got adelon here what do you have to say greetings the scribe i welcome you to our library what's up man you can read view your stats and skill tree also they have a skill tree in this 
game. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can only use our tomes within the library itself. All right. I don't really know what that means, but okay. All right, so it looks like this is stats. Oh, okay. So these are my stats. You got reading XP, age, I'm 16, mana regen, power, intelligence, and bounty. We've got the skill tree here. Oh my God, this is actually a pretty mean skill tree. And there's going to be another page out in the future. But I accidentally clicked on Adelan again. Okay. So this is like the mana portion, I guess. Yeah, this gives you intelligence and damage. The middle one. Oh, this is what gives you your skills. So this is how I unlock my skills. Okay. Oh, yeah, actually, all of these are different. I thought you have to like go a certain path, but no, you don't. You just need to hit the level. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Not a bad skill tree. Not bad. And then we've just got a literal book here that I just picked up. Oh, you gain plus two reading XP every 20 seconds. All right. I mean, I guess that's cool. But the thing is, I don't know what you use reading XP for. So I don't really know. <laughs> how relevant this is but uh yeah i guess that's all right and i'm pretty sure once you leave the library yeah you lose the book so there you go all right not bad we got the boy flamio here he doesn't talk to me he kind of looks like that dude he's literally that dude from freaking um fairy tale i'm not even joking i forgot his name or gray yeah gray full buster it's literally who that guy looks like all right, i'm gonna just hop on the broom now that way i can get to doing these quests a lot faster something i already like about this game compared to the other game is look at how high you can get with the broom you see what i'm saying this is how a black clover game it should be bro just letting me zoom in the air with the broom bro the other black clover game i was playing you could pretty much only go like five feet off the ground and then they just capped you so that's definitely pretty nice that they just let you freaking soar through the sky now i don't really know how long this video is going to be i gotta go to the clothing shop right now yeah i don't really know how long this video is gonna be um i might just record until i get like my first grimoire skill or like until i do the first actual set of like you know pvp or pve because right now i've kind of just been doing some like basic um quest of like cutting my hair and stuff and i definitely need a haircut with the freaking afro i got so yeah i've just been doing like these basic quests so i don't know i'll probably stop once i actually get to um doing you know pve kind of stuff okay so this is the like clothing shop i guess you can actually get pretty dripped out all right hold on not bad not bad the only problem being i've got no freaking money so i don't think i can afford any of this yeah the shirt literally costs 600 freaking dollars and the pen yeah okay bro this thing is like almost 1k like i do not have the money for this man i just got here all right this is the next quest right here i had to go to the barber shop speak to the boy roland so he could potentially line me up which like i said before i definitely do need since i am literally rocking a mean fro right now but of course this thing costs 150 dollars, and because i'm broke i can't get my hair cut so that's great on the bright side it looks like the next actual quest is to get my first grimoire move so that's definitely pretty cool i'm excited to see what my actual first move is and then after this it also seems that i'm gonna be able to bro i talked to the wrong person after this it also seems i'm gonna be able to finally do my first pve quest which is to slay some boars so yeah we'll finally be able to see what the actual combat is like all right so now i'm in the skill tree and yeah i can unlock my first skill i think i'm like level what level am i i'm level six you can see at the top left i still don't really know what all the other stuff is i think that's a stamina bar so yeah we're definitely gonna have to watch that but i don't know when our stamina gets drained it might be when we're actually in combat besides that there's also a hunger bar i'm pretty sure that's sticking down that black one under the purple bar and i'm pretty sure the purple bar is mana also we've got asta right here but i can't talk to him either all the people i can't talk to are probably just level capped though honestly i'm only level six i just wish it showed like what level i'd need to be if they are actually just level capped but yeah finally i'll be able to do my next quest which is to actually slay some boars and speaking of which since i have my first um move let's see what that is so click e open my really dope looking grimoire and then i click r oh oh okay what the hell so my my freaking r just gives me a paintbrush <laughs> all right that's pretty cool wait so what's even happening i clicked r again and it put like green on my paintbrush and now it's making like a healing effect so what happens if i click r again nothing oh okay yeah it's actually pretty cool though that they like did a whole paintbrush and they made the colors like say what what i have two paintbrushes now wait in oh, okay I, I don't know what's happening something else to know is even though i put away my grimoire i still keep my paintbrushes so I, I don't really know man so i'm gonna assume what this paint grimoire does is it pretty much lets me like like just use paint oh these are the boars oh damn that bro's scary hold on back up oh okay that's actually pretty cool what so i'm basically 
<laughs> every time I hit him, it makes like a paint effect. That's pretty dual. Oh, and I knew it. N is to grip. So I'm gonna click N and yeah, he's dead. And the dude dropped me. All right, piece this dude up. I don't really know if there's any other, you know, combos in this game. Like, I don't think there's any air combos or anything. I see there's a guard break because of that. Oh, what the? <laughs> what happened to me? He ragdolled me? Okay. Okay, right click is like a heavy hit that hits people backwards. All right. I will say my like freaking frames for some reason are dropping while I'm here. I don't really know why, but yeah, they are. Yeah, for some reason and my FPS like really dips while I'm in this damn forest. So that definitely sucks. But I gotta remember, I also need to grip these people. See the fact that I'm doing 50 damage M1s and I haven't really like leveled up strength or anything is kind of insane. That could be because of the grimoire, but I don't really know. All right, that should be the final grip. Oh, okay. That dude rammed me. Bruh, back up. I want to pick up this damn meat, but this freaking boar is making it impossible possible to pick up the meat man all right there we go and i'm gonna grip him too actually let's see what the blocking is like oh he gar broke me it makes a freaking one piece hockey noise when you get gar broken okay all right well we ended up completing that pig quest i will say the freaking uh paintbrush grimoire is definitely pretty cool now i need to craft an axe so this is where the crafting menu comes in and i literally just need to craft a basic axe i need six sticks and six rocks the thing is how do i know how much material i have oh wait i'm stupid you is your materials okay so when you click you this is basically like your backpack all right so i need to go around and collect six sticks and six rocks all right can i collect them while i'm on the broom oh that's actually super convenient all right nice yeah i don't know for some reason my freaking frames keep dropping i think it unironically might be the grimoire because of the freaking effects and so if it is then that definitely sucks but i mean whatever i'm gonna pick up whatever this flower is since this thing looks special um i'll play a bit more of the game and then afterwards i'll just end the video i think once I get to the next like quest of me um slaying some enemy i'll probably stop after that all right i've now got all the requirements to actually make an axe so i'm gonna go and do that i wish there was a way for me to put away this damn paintbrush but i literally have no idea how all right so we can craft an axe now there we go i now have an axe i'm gonna assume well i don't really know what use this on but probably to like cut trees or something oh and then the next mission is literally chop down three trees okay so how do i go about chopping trees trees i just do this oh yeah the trees like have their own health bar okay well this is pretty easy i will say the fact that i can chop down this ginormous freaking tree is kind of insane i can't even pick up the logs so what the hell is the point of chopping down the tree then what yeah i don't really know what the point of chopping down the tree is because you don't even get to like manually pick up the logs unless they get yeah no they don't even get added to my inventory either so like, oh wait you can pick them up oh i just had a freaking axe in my hand i'm dumb as hell okay all right so ignore that comment you can in fact pick up the logs you just need to not be holding the axe when you go to pick it up as there we go we chopped down our last tree i'll be taking my logs thank you very much and yeah, now i've got six wood i thought they would just be called logs and now they're called wood so there you go all right so what i'm just gonna do is i see the next quest is to literally defeat three bandit tame a wolf that actually sounds pretty cool but I'm going to defeat. Actually, no. All right. I'll stop once I get to the Tame a Wolf quest. I'll probably skip all these boring ones like sell your wood and head to the bar. And I'll come back during the do 70 push up. So I'll see y'all then. All right. I know I said I'd come back when I actually get to the push ups part, but I just wanted to point this out. So this chick basically told me I can improve my cooking skills at my own house. I didn't even know I had a house, bro. I thought I was just sleeping in like the forest or something. <laughs> oh, that's definitely kind of cool. Oh, there's actually cooking XP. Okay. For all the people who want to mess around with cooking XP, there you go, man. And what the hell is Gary? Eric gotta say is he like give out quests or something oh he's a bounty hunter okay so when people rack up bounties you can basically go to him and go bounty hunting for the people who like to do that all right all right so we are finally on the do push-up quest it says click z and you literally just do push-ups so what i just okay so i'm lit i literally need to sit here and click z 70 times all right bruh i'll see y'all when i'm done with the push-ups man all right so i legit sat here clicking z for pretty much like a minute or two and so i'm finally about to get to 70 i don't really know what the point of this quest is i'm gonna assume it like ups my strength or something so i can definitely go and check like the stats by the library to see if that's what it was but yeah now i need to defeat three bandits so i'll go do that but real quick i'm just gonna go to the library see what stats i ended up improving and then after that i think i'm just gonna end the video with this uh bandit quest 
Right, so let me see if we go to stats here like did i i didn't even okay i didn't even upgrade my power or damage so then what the, why did i end up doing push-ups bro i mean whatever oh well okay that gives me plus two damage so i guess there we go i don't really know what the point of doing push-ups is but i guess if i figure that out then yeah you can sit there and do push-ups for like five minutes to increase whatever stat that is man i mean i'm gonna do this quest and then after this i'm just gonna call it a video so over here is the the bandit air oh damn these dudes have ranged attacks all right let me just whip out my freaking paint grimoire real quick let me take on my paintbrush all right i've got this like i still don't even really know what my um freaking ability does like my paintbrush skill i assume it just gives me a sword but i feel like there's like something else to it like i don't i don't i do not think the ability is literally to just give me a sword i don't know that's just me though what I can't grip this dude okay i mean it says one out of three i guess you just don't grip the bandits i don't really know how that works but whatever okay i ended up clicking r again and i've got my double paintbrush now so let's see if this actually increases my damage yeah i don't know what it is for some reason every time i whip out my paintbrush i really just like start dropping frame what is this dude not dead he's he's throwing stuff at me but like i can't grip him what oh wait no that counted as gripping him okay i, I don't really know what that's about man like i said though it starts to end up dropping my frames but for some reason on the recording it doesn't drop at at all so you guys aren't gonna be like having this whole problem that i'm having but for me it's like pretty bad man all right that quest was hella glitchy and buggy i think i ended up gripping the same dead dude like three times i, I don't really know how that works but because of that i'm gonna actually end it on this next quest which is to tame a wolf mainly because it sounds cool so yeah i'll tame this wolf and then after that we'll end the video so tame a wolf get some raw meat i do have raw meat on me from killing all those pigs so i'm definitely excited to see how they make this work like are we gonna have tames that can like help Help us in fights and stuff and they do damage that sounds pretty dope so let me see i don't really know how taming works um oh okay well he's throwing hands off rip so that's uh that's that's pretty cool and i do like no freaking damage to these guys so you basically do just need to tame them all right um so i have raw meat do i i take what what do you want do i just feed this to you like how does this work i've got raw meat can you t tame the oh he doesn't hit me now so now i'm taming him ah there we go yeah all right what did i get the wolf oh so sh oh and now i can call it okay hold on press j oh and he literally just pulls up oh that's super dope they definitely work on like the models for the animals and stuff yeah, that's really cool so now the wolf just helps me okay that's cool and he slowly loses health so i guess that's when he ends up dying okay can i like feed this dude no i can't okay can you just if i click j yeah and yeah if i click j he despawns all right that's actually pretty cool they could definitely do a lot with that whole like taming thing like they could make like freaking dragons or something i don't know and then you tame it and then you just start flying with a freaking dragon that'd be really dope all right though like i said that is going to be the end of the video all in all i think this game is all right at the moment i will say the uh grimoires itself i've only seen one grimoire this being paint but you know this does look really freaking cool and the whole like idea behind it with like the paintbrush and stuff and and the colors do different things i think it's pretty dope so i'm pretty sure they put a lot of their time into the grimoires compared to everything else that's just what i think though i could be wrong on that but yeah the grimoires itself is pretty cool the ui also looks pretty good in terms of the quests um they could definitely use a little bit of work i think the whole like going to barber shops and stuff doing 70 push-ups for i still don't even know why could definitely be changed the combat seems kind of also just mid in my opinion it just seems like a five hit like combat and then i guess once i actually get spells you can kind of just spam spells too basically like what the other black clover game was like the only difference is that game had four m1 combat this one has five see it's basically just do five m1s and then use like a spell i guess so i don't know the combat being mid is definitely a problem hopefully they improve upon that since i also don't even think there's air combos besides all those things though i think the game is pretty good um there's actually a lot to it which was i i am surprised about i didn't think there'd be that much the map is also really freaking big and so i think all of those in general does this get does give this game a lot of potential see i don't know if you guys want to try it yourself like i said you can go into the game link i'll have down in the description and get the game pass it's totally up to you you can try it for early access and like i said you'll get the recipe for the alpha sword which i don't know if and i dropped by accident okay and there's fall damage all right i don't know if the sword is like hella broken or anything but yeah you can get it yourself but if you want to wait until the actual game releases for free then yeah it should drop within a few months 
friends. But yeah, that's basically going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, then please do make sure to leave a like on the video since it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And before I actually end the video, I just want you guys to know that your boy does have a Discord. So if you want to join that, then go ahead and do so. Link should be down in the description. And yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.